why not put a little Joffrey stand right here? I mean, it makes sense. What's going on everybody? Tony here, Lisa here, and we are on Disney property today. We are gonna be checking out the Disney Caribbean Resort. I have never been here to be honest with you. And so we're not gonna do a room tour because we don't have a room, but we're gonna check out the grounds and see what's going on here. So let's go. I kind of don't know where I'm going because I've never actually stepped foot on this property for some reason. We got Jamaica. Probably. Yeah, because you're right. That's the front entrance to get in. Lobby would have to be this way. Hey, I feel like we're noobs at this. <laughs> yeah, just at this resort. But it's very nice though. Just by telling, just by looking at the outside decor, it looks good. Why? They're fixing it. Okay. Can't show you the pool. So far we just found out that this resort is a maze. <laughs> yeah, and there's not not a lot of signage to be honest with you. I'm seeing more signs just for, you know, the room, Jamaica this way or this way. You know, so we're just, it, it took us forever to find this path. Oh, look at the beach. Just look at this. Lisa's excited. Uh, she spotted a hammock. This is a nice little beach we got here. I mean, look at this. I was hoping you would actually fall over. I don't know, it just would have been good for TV. Well, is it comfy? Cozy? <laughs> just for the hammock? Just to lay in the hammock all day long. I don't need to go anywhere. How do you pronounce it? A hammock? Yeah. Okay. It's a very nice beach here. We got the lake right here, you can see. Well, maybe it's hard to see, but right up here we have the bridge to cross over. That'll take you down here to looks like to be another pool area here. It is a bit of all right. Ah, a map. Old Port Royale is where we want to go, I'm assuming. That's okay. The dining, shopping, and recreation. So I would assume then that this is the lobby area. Yep. So we need to get there. Oh, we are here. So we gotta cross over the bridge and we'll go right here. So right when you cross over the bridge, we have this Caribbean K playground. And we're not gonna stay down here too much because there is kids down here and I don't wanna like film a lot. But you can see they have this little like jungle gym. Just a nice little play area. You got some slides. This is really fun. Because we're technically on what they would call their private island, you have this little like private area here with some hammocks. And it looks like to appear this little shed area would be a bar. So I don't know if they would have this for like reserved parties. I'm not entirely sure, but it's nice. We have found a water source. That means we are close to where we need to go. But look at their pool. Just look at this. Wow, yeah, this pool is awesome looking. Yeah, Shipwreck Cove straight ahead. That'll be the kids area or pool area. See if we get a zoom in on that just right there. I mean, the pool's a very decent size. It's well themed here. And here we have Sebastian, which is a, yeah, it's a bistro. So we have the outside bar here, and then inside will be, you know, your typical restaurant eatery. Let's check out some of the menu here that they have outside. Banana. Let's see if we can eat anything here. Jumbo lump crab cake. I do love crab cakes. House salad. Cuban black bean soup. Ooh, I do like black bean soup. Coconut shrimp and grits. Red striped fried cod. Nice. $25. So the prices vary here, obviously, but you're looking about, I would say anywhere from dinners, let's go $22 to about $35 would be about your average. Got a nice lighthouse here, just a very little one. It's got a nice boat here. This is sweet man sweet. 
Oh, look at that. There is a pool. Yeah, there's a pool table right there at the lighthouse. People are playing. That's awesome. This is nice. Hold on. Ah, lobby. Here we go. Let's go in here. All right, moment of truth. I love lobbies, especially Disney ones. Oh, it smells awesome in here. Yeah, so now when we order from Magic Candle Company, this is going to be what it smells like. Wow, this smells awesome. This is great. Oh, so right here will be your check-in area. It's kind of small, but it's nice. Like, this is beautiful in here. I love these floors. Here's kind of just a waiting area here. I know the fans are awesome. Man, I can't get over this smell. It smells amazing in here. Grab and go market. Like, uh, right, okay. Gift shop, shop, grab and go. Let's go to the gift shop. Look at their toothpick holder. Yeah. It's a pretty one. Ooh, did you see these over here? These Disney showcases. These things are so much fun. Let me tell you. And these can be expensive. Look at the Jiminy Cricket. Oh, I like him. He's amazing looking. Look, Look at, at him. Donald. Oh, I really like Donald. Oh, yeah, I do. Oh, yeah, I do. Oh, look at Tink. Yeah. Tink looks rad. Oh, I like that. Of Caribbean. That's nice. 40 bucks. Have, they're the one we have. Yeah. I have this one. Got it at the character warehouse for $20. Oh, I like that pirate swan. Because we're at the Caribbean. Yeah. Yeah, we like coming in here to find the resort uh, specific merchandise because all of the, uh, the uh, uh, merchandise stands here, or the gift shops, I should say, they're all the same. Yeah, let's go into the grab and go. So this is just your specific grab and goes. We got Grab and go pizzas, Hawaiian pizzas. Who puts pineapple on a pizza? Uh, you would be amazed. Um, but the pizzas are like nine bucks, about average. We need soups. We got Ritz crackers. All your ice creams. With the Arendelle Blue Cupcake. Oh, look at the Peter Pan Skyliner cookie. Oh, awesome. Just look at it. I haven't seen the Arendelle Blue Cupcake. Arundel. Yeah, Arundel. It's That's an Arundel. Kind of I call it an Arundel. Arundel. That's Arundel. Oh, look, you can get little shrimpies. Shrimp and cocktail. No, but. Oh, here's some more like the specialty cupcakes here. Chocolate tart. Chocolate tart. Pumpkin spice. All the different mini cupcakes. Once you come out of the grab and go, you have the enter town market. Spa water. Oh, look at the spa water. Spa. Do you want some spa water, little Lisa? I do want to try some spa water. Let's get some spa water. We're gonna be bougie today. It's got little lemons and oranges in them. Limes at the bottom. I don't really taste the uh, lime and oranges. No, but you have to, because I've done that at home. If it's a fresh batch, you typically don't get that flavor. It's like once you start refilling, yeah. then it's like... Well, let's look at this menu here for the Entertown Market. So you can get your normal like Cuban sandwiches, barbecue pork, we have chicken bowls, uh, spinach and kale salads, just a little bit of everything. And then you got your beers over here as well. And then once you order, Go to the court. Yeah. I don't know if you heard Lisa because it's kind of loud in here, but she said you order here and I guess I'll tell you which port to go to. Well, it tells you up there where you it. Oh, well, yeah. And then from there, you pick up. Yeah, and you just come here, guests show them your little receipt, kind of like you would at Food and Wine, and um, yeah, pick up your food. We got Port Out Prince, 
port of San Juan. Fancy, they give you real forks and knives and spoons, not that plastic stuff like at some of the other resorts. Give you some real stuff. <laughs> We're gonna go to the main front entrance of the lobby because where we came in was the back side. So we're gonna check out the front here. You know what this kind of reminds me of? This reminds me of Riverside a little bit, Port Orleans. Yeah, it definitely gets a Port Orleans uh, look to it, feel. which does. New Orleans has that southern island feel. It's just in the Ponce de Yeah. I love the smell in here. When you go outside, check out this pineapple fountain. How amazing is that? Just look at the pineapple. I do love a good fountain, I'm not gonna lie. This fountain reminds me of the one in Mexico at Epcot. Uh, there's something to say. Look at this. $40 per person. $40 per person, oh, per person for the Pirate Adventure Cruise. For kids. Is it really? 4 to 12, 10 to 16. Well, what kind of crap is that? Because I want to definitely do this. Wait, I want to do this though. You can do fishing excursions here. Look at that. $270 for a two hour trip, 7 to 10, 235. Uh, from 7am to 10am. That's actually three hours? Yeah, that is. So why are they calling oh, that? 7am or 10am. Oh, gotcha. <laughs> I read the sign wrong. But 270, 235, 455. So, I mean, you can do some fishing. You can also rent bicycles here that's uh, $9 per 60 minutes per hour or $18 per day. And of course, for those who like to run for fun, they got a little running trail as well. Look at that. So, as opposed to some other of the Disney hotel resorts for the pool, these pools here, you do not need to place your magic band to get in. You can just walk in. Nice place to sit. It's a nice place to sit here over the lake. I like this. A lot of good seating opportunities. Alright, that's gonna do it for us here at the Caribbean Resort. Very beautiful, really nice. Yeah. It's kind of a short tour, but like I said, we don't have a room, so we couldn't show you that. Uh, you can definitely get lost here. Yeah. I'll tell you, we got lost a couple times. We didn't know where we were really going. I mean, we also didn't come in from the lobby area because we rode the Skyliner here, so because of that, we had no idea where to go to get to the lobby, so that was also why we got lost. Exactly. But I feel like once we came out of like the lobby area, everything made sense, like where we were at. So. Yeah. And if you go online, it says the starting price for this hotel is $202 a night. However, when I fooled around with a couple of dates, I didn't see a 202. I was seeing about the average starting at 289, so 290. And going over 300. So 
it kind of depends. I was looking on off season and on season, so it's a very beautiful hotel, a little pricey, but you get what you pay for. It's a very amazing. So we'll see you next time, guys. Vlog finito. Did you see that?